I was the first MC of the first comedy store, first comedy club in this country, first modern club. So, you know, I started all this shit. <laughs> Just in the sense that I was the first person on that first yeah. stage, you know, I didn't, you know, regardless of, you know, what, but I was, I just, by accident, you know, I was just the first person on the stage of the comedy store, you know, which was the first modern comedy club. So, it, you know, it's all kind of grown from, from, you know, from that starting point and it's, it's an extra kind of bizarre touch for me to see that I go to some, you know, room above a pub in East Dulwich and some guys talking about internet sex I think well I kind of you know you can chart a, a route from me to to him kind of thing and that, that's a particular a particularly odd experience for me you know it adds a kind of free song to it you know on the other hand it's also I'm completely irrelevant you know the business <clears throat> is clearly you know when I left the comedy store uh, I was convinced that it would close the next night <laughs> In my generation, the first generation, when we were good, we were good. When we were bad, we were fucking terrible, you know. And, you know, a comic, I mean, your comic now inhabits, off, generally inhabits a, a kind of mid-area where they you know, it's a really reliable product. But sometimes I think, I think we were also, sometimes we were good because we were all that there was, you know, and we were doing it for the first time, you know. I think now there is a, a greater seriousness and a greater focus about your modern comic, you know, which is... Yeah, which is impressive, really, you know. It's There's certainly a, a sense now as well, is you wonder how many boundaries there are left to push in comedy in terms of what's next, what's the next thing to push over, what's the next thing to come that will be controversial. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's always a difficult one. What Stuart Lee's done is to, is to, is to play, that's what I was going to say, before, is, to play, is to not try and jump up the venues, but to go, go on playing smaller venues, you know, even if he could play bigger venues. And I think, in a sense, that's a political act, you know, to... To just appeal, appeal to a, to keep it, a, and I, I would, if I ever do more than just these kind of MC and these solo shows, I think that I would stick with that. That I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't try and play the big places anymore. That I would keep it to the little art centres and stuff. And I think then, you know, you are, you're having a very visceral connection with the audience. You know, whatever, regardless of what you're saying. You know, and, and then there's the possibility of some also of some interest, of something interesting, which I don't. I can't see how you can do it in a big arena. Really. <laughs>